I can't really live without that stuff. But wait. It's like being in the controls of a spaceship, you know? Anyway. So um Okay. Just want to uh remake a video that I made um a while ago. I just wanted to resynthesize my ideas to make it more like uh easy to, to understand. So I'm talking about happiness, it's very difficult to uh, isolate exactly what it is you're talking about because uh, happiness can can be many things. You know, you shouldn't really base yourself on a dictionary definition, but um, it is a state of mind, um, a disposition, a reaction that you have that you can identify and I think for our purposes the best way we could define it would be as something that we're seeking that's something that we want and it's something that uh, we suffer when we don't have because it can really mean different things to different people and, and that's the reason why it's so difficult to wait a minute. can't hear a word I'm saying with this machine and that's the reason why um, but I'm going to connect the other machine. Wait a minute. Ah. Ah. Okay. It's it's difficult to isolate um, the same feeling in everybody, but I think, for example, a guy who's in a really tough situation I mean he's he's not going well and you know he might be addicted to alcohol or something I mean he's, he's, he's just in a bad situation and you know his family's not doing well there's disease and stuff like that you know this guy he could be in a situation where he could be in a situation where um, if something good was to happen to him that would normally raise his happiness, he wouldn't like it, he would have an adverse reaction to it, he would resist it. Because what this person would really want, uh, hypothetically, is that he wants other people to feel sorry for him. He wants other people to do things for him. But he doesn't want to ask it directly, so he just hopes that his situation gets worse and worse and worse, so that um, he could use this to convince other people to to do stuff in this place and uh, it's kind of like an appeal to divine justice if you want you know he wants people to to feel that it's unfair and blah 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 so for, for this guy happiness doesn't mean the same thing as for other people because he doesn't seek the same thing but um, you know most people would never want to have bad things happen to them just so that they can get compassion from other people but some people want that so that's why it's difficult to isolate a single thing that we could use and qualify this as happiness and say that's what it is you know I mean there are more neural connection in a hu human brain than stars in a galaxy so it's it's a very very subtle thing but if, if we if we go with that with the idea that we're, it's something that we seek, it's something that we're trying to have, and it's something that we suffer when we don't have. We could build a chart, something like this. Oh, my drawing skills aren't too good. But, um, and it, it becomes a weapon to manipulate people. So for example, if we get at this starting point, we're going to have a person who's living a very normal life, um, who's got a lousy job and, you know, at part time and just enough to pay for his college bills. And, and um, you know, he has an average family, his parents are divorced, but, you know, they're not, you know, all that bad. and and he's got a girlfriend who's got some problems I mean you know maybe she's in a cult or something whatever you know it's just 
he's got problems, but he's he's not like dying of cancer or anything. So this guy would say that he's just lounging along in normal happiness level. And for him, all the things that he has that are good are the things that sustain him to this point. And the things that he has that are bad are the things that push him down to this point. And it brings him here. And this, you could say, is the normal state of the human mind. It's, this is where the human mind is at its normal its normal functioning. So, if this person, something amazing happens to him, say he wins the lottery and he doesn't have to work anymore, he's got more time and because he's got money, you know, he has more friends, more people pay attention to him, you know, uh, relatives who didn't care about him all of a sudden want to meet him, you know. So, at the moment, his happiness level is going to rise. He's going to find himself like in nirvana, you know? And then he, he gets there. What happens is that this is not a natural state of being for the human brain. Because the human brain's natural level of happiness is here. So when he gets to that point, he reaches a certain level and you could say it kind of rises fast and then it kind of plateaus, you know? He reaches a certain level, and when he is at that level, it takes more and more to, to keep him up because he gets accustomed to it. And, and when he, he gets used to it, and that new level of happiness becomes a status quo, he's thinking about when he was back there, you see, he gets back down because now here you have the same guy but he no longer has a job because he no longer needs it he's got a lot of money he's got a lot of friends uh, he dumped his girlfriend to find someone better I mean he's he's in a better situation than he used to be and um, still when he got used to that better situation when he got accustomed to it it became his norm, it became his status quo, it became the one thing that his brain needed to function at the normal level, and that brought him back here. But if at this point he was to get back to where he was at this level, he would be unable to sustain uh, a state of mind at the same level, because what he needed at this point to bring him up you could call that his charge see this is the charge what he needed to bring him up was less than what he needed here to bring him up to the same level because he got accustomed to having more so if he loses the money he gained if he loses the advantage that he had in his life that brought him up to that point and if he was to return to this place and get back to his lousy job and get back to his old habits he wouldn't be able to stay here. He would go down. And when you go down like that, that's where you have a depression. That's where you, you become unable to, to live normally. That's when you, know, you start crying every night. That's when you know everything just seems hopeless and useless and, and you just can't do anything with it anymore. And so when you get down to that point, slowly but surely it becomes your status quo. And as it becomes a status quo, slowly, slowly you get back up to the same level again. And at this point here, you might be in the same situation as here. And once again, the charge that is required to keep you up here becomes lower than it was here. Because a lower level of material happiness became your status quo. It became what you got used to, what you got accustomed to. And this is what people use as weapons. Because the one thing that can really define this kind of, of situation in, in broad terms is um, addiction. That's exactly what addiction is. Say we're gonna pretend that we have some kind of drug or alcohol or, or anything, just something that when you take, you're at that level, it brings you a high makes you happy brings you up to that point 
and then you get used to it very quickly so you find yourself falling down because you no longer have it the effect wears off as soon as you get used to it, the effect bang wears down and when you're here you don't wait for the natural course of events that would bring you back to this level you don't wait for that you get another another shot it brings you back up but maybe not as high and then you go back further down and get another shot but then you want to take even stronger shots to get back up to that same level and then it brings you further down and then you just start to depend on it and when you get to that level around here I mean, obviously it might take more time but if you don't have that same drug that, that brings you up you might die you, know, you, you really depend on it because you can't sustain any level of comfort you can't sustain any, any level of satisfaction unless you have it and that's the problem that's what addiction is and, and that's what happens when you manipulate people and manipulation essentially you could I mean there might be many definitions but we could use one that's like um, someone you want someone to do something that's in your best interest and against his best interests and you want to manipulate the cards you want to change the, the context so that you can make that person do that thing that you want that person to do if you want to call that manipulation say you got this guy here and the best way to manipulate people is to please them to make them depend on you so a person here who's in a normal situation and you do something good for him you do something to help him out you do something that um, for example say this guy's a politician and you're a billionaire and you make donations for his campaign it's, that's one example but you know it, it, it happens every day like social situations between families and, and friends and co-workers and couples you know it's, but let's use a political example you give him his donations and you have the same effect see you bring him back here and what you do you increase the charge see by giving him the donation you bring him to the same level of happiness of need but by giving him something what you did to him is that you increase the charges that the, that was necessary for him to remain at that level and so once you give something to someone if it's something you can take back you develop a very strong power over that person because if you take it back you can bring that person further down you have the power to do that now which you didn't have here at this point in time but now you gave yourself that power by increasing its charge and by making part of this charge something that depends on you it's something that you are going to decide whether or not that charge is going to be there to sustain it at that level because it's something you give him and if you keep giving more to him to that person and you keep having this uh, wave pattern every time you have another one at each juncture the charge becomes heavier and heavier and the more you get to that point the more that person depends on you because the more you increase that person's charge to, to take that person to that point and the more that person is susceptible to being manipulated because you just have to make that person understand you know look I'm gonna decrease your charge I'm gonna throw you down in the loop because I have the power to do that I'm gonna take away what you have here to sustain you because I artificially brought it up and that person doesn't want to be there because remember the definition we agreed for in happiness is something that makes us suffer when we have less of it and it's something that we seek so that person seeks it and will suffer if, if, he, if he has less of it so you have the power to make that person have less of it that person will do anything you want to prevent you from uh, from uh, taking away the charge and bring him, bring him in down 
and in, in every situation, that's that's how people get manipulated. I mean, you could say an easy, very simple, and common form of manipulation is uh, when you're working, you're providing someone with work, and I'm not saying that all employers are manipulative bitches, but when you're providing someone with work, you're giving... Okay, the battery went up. You're giving something to someone, and it's something that you give that person that increases that person's charge and you have the power to take that charge away from him so you're you're giving yourself that power over someone when you give someone a job you're giving something someone you're giving something to someone that brings up his charge that becomes more difficult to sustain him up at that level and it's something that you have the power to take away. Every manipulation is always based on that principle. People, sorry, my battery's going off again. Okay, uh, battery's going off again. Well, the point I'm making mostly is that your level of happiness or satisfaction is usually relative to what it was like before and what you're accustomed to. And this is what you're accustomed to, that it becomes your normal system of functioning. It becomes the normal hangouts of, of, of uh, the systems of your brain that are used to, to having these things that are available to keep you up at the same level. And so, normally, people aren't always exactly at this level so we're just using this as an example but very often people who are who are here they don't wait to naturally find themselves here they don't wait for a natural transformation because I mean we're just doing a very basic uh, chart here but if you want to expand this and, and make it more complex you could have something that looks like this, the guy goes down here, then he might be up and down and, and then up again and then down again and you know, so it, it, it really depends on on a lot of things, you know so like we're really isolating everything here when we're but this is just for a basic uh, basic idea, but generally that's what happens, if you don't want to be the sort of person who gets manipulated by others and if you don't want to have an addictive personality and you want to keep yourself here the objective is to be able to remain here with as little charge as possible now, that doesn't mean that you should throw away everything you own just to bring yourself down and back up what it means is that you should just let go of your clinging to things I mean, if you're able to accept that everything you have you're going to lose and you're able to mentally separate yourself from these things, if you're able to know that it's fun to be able to walk, but you know that one day you won't be able to walk anymore. You know that one day your eyes won't work anymore, one day your ears won't work anymore. You know that one day the people you love will be dead or gone and one day the things you own will be will be lost and destroyed if you're able to accept that really deeply accept that you can keep what you have and enjoy it but you will become less susceptible to manipulation and addiction you will become stronger in your level because your charge will be smaller and no one will be able to artificially bring it up to use it to make you do things that you don't want to do and that's basically you know the, the simple thing but yeah so good luck and um, yeah I think I'm gonna go drink some Sambuca now <laughs>